Hello, everyone. Welcome to the episode of Photos and Their Stories. Today, I have a very guest. Her name is Jess. She is a wonderful artist, and she'll talk more about herself later, but she's also a good friend of mine, and I'm very happy to be talking to her about some of her favorite photos of all time. Welcome to the podcast, Abby. Hi. <laughs> Fun to be here. Yes, I'm so excited to have you here. I have been loving your work for a long time. Your photos are very emotional. We both take some portraits. You take very beautiful photos of other people. So uh, yes, please scroll through your work so we can all see the magic. Yeah. yeah, so these are just some of my recent stuff. There's a lot of photos of me here. <laughs> so um, I try to have more variety though, where you can see other people's faces. The past couple of years, I've been really focusing on self-portraits. So there's more of me than anything, <laughs> but mm. the type of stuff that I do capture, I try my best to have it be more like emotional. It's very poetic. A lot of my work is inspired by my writing, which is inspired by, again, emotion and how I feel. So I really try my best to represent that energy through my photos. It's not necessarily about what's in the photo. It's about how that person felt while I was taking the photo of them or just a situation of what energy I'm trying to express through it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the sole reason why I do what I do. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love the colors you work with. I love the compositions, the feminine energy everything, the props you use. I really love seeing such a beautiful, empowering combination of things in your work. And I look forward to seeing the photos that you picked that you consider your favorites. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, so the first one that I chose is this one, which is my personal favorite. It, I took this, oh my gosh, it was about two and a half years ago now. And I called it Reborn because it was supposed to symbolize a new beginning in my life. When I took this, I had just gotten out of a relationship. I went through a really, you know, really sad breakup as, as all breakups are. But after that breakup, I felt like I had lost myself for a period of time. And I was like slowly coming back to myself and reclaiming myself, if you will. And so when I took this photo, I had finally felt like, like I was whole again. I felt like after feeling so hollow from that experience I had found myself but I found myself in a in a new way entirely and so I called it reborn because it was like I came back but I came back as a different person and it was also inspired by the movie Catwoman which has Halle Berry in it which is very nerdy of me but that is a movie that holds a very special place in my heart because I I watched it so many times when I was little and I remember like always watching it and being like, I want to be Catwoman. I want to be just like her. Because the story of Catwoman is she's this timid and shy girl and she dies and she comes back as this like independent, fierce, sensual, like really powerful being. And she just like lives in her own spotlight. And that was really the energy that I was channeling for this because that was exactly how I felt. Like I felt like this relationship, it really did kill me in a way, like the way that it ended so abruptly, so painfully. And I didn't know like who I was anymore really, because I, you know, I had never experienced a relationship that was so meaningful. And then to have it like just taken from you like that, like I said, it really does. It, it just feels like it kills you. But that experience is what brought me to being the person who I am today. And so that's what I was really trying to embody in this. And that's why I chose like the green contacts to symbolize like the best way I could describe it was um, I felt like I was an evolved soul in, in the same body. Like it was the same body, but it was a different person, like looking out with new eyes. And that was what I was trying to embody with this. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's, I love, I love yeah, it's, it's a wonderful, um, that's a wonderful explanation, and I love the story behind this photograph. I love that you use a difficult situation to make something creative. I think only something I'll learn more often as photographers, and I think a lot of people already intuitively do it, where they, they, they go through something, and the only way they can really express themselves in a safe place is by mm -hmm. either standing behind the camera or in front of it, but 
regardless of what you choose, it's always a good idea to express yourself through that art form because you can really come up with not just great ideas, but you can also find something about yourself that you didn't know before or I don't know, I, I feel like it's a it's an amazing opportunity for us all to grow as people, especially in difficult situations. So this is a prime example. Of that. Yeah, no, most definitely. Yeah. And it's just like really shows how sometimes a really dark experience can actually like it can it can take you somewhere brighter. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And I love your makeup in this, by the way, and the collects. Oh, thank you. I tried to make it like, like, obviously it's not perfect, <laughs> but I tried to make it kind of like a little rough because I wanted to symbolize how like Catwoman, her makeup isn't always perfect, but she just, it doesn't matter if her makeup looks very like whatever. She's just an awesome person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's a good thing to keep in mind too. Perfectionism because it's artists too, and those people generally tend to be perfectionists. So I like that you didn't really put so much pressure on yourself to create the perfect image with the perfect makeup because I think it would have looked less nice compared to this this is nice this is you know with its flaws but I don't really see any flaws to be honest with you oh thank you uh yeah but that is so that's that photo and the next photo that I chose uh is this one which is another really iconic one for me and it's called the power within and so I called it that because when you look at the model, we have the beautiful Chelsea Roy here, and she has on a crown, you know, symbolizing that she is a queen. But if you look at the things that are around her, so she's in a graveyard. So the graveyard is behind her, and that's supposed to symbolize her past, meaning like, you know, your past experiences, they are, they're dead, they're gone, you know, they happened, but they're not here anymore. And what's in front of her is it looks like this kind of like this hazy light like it's it's bright but it's foggy and so that's supposed to symbolize her future meaning like even though she doesn't know what's before her she knows that it's bright and the way that she's looking at the camera is like in this powerful and kind of mysterious way and that's supposed to symbolize how you know even if she doesn't know where she's headed as long as she you know follows her intuition she she remembers her strength and she remembers you know, her belief in herself, like she can, she can get anything that she wants in life. Like that's why she has the crown because she's a queen. She's powerful. She's radiant. And I really wanted to create this, you know, to channel that energy for myself, but also for other people to remember that regardless of your past or your current situation, if you have that determination, you have that drive, you have that belief and that ability in yourself, you know, you really you can accomplish anything. Like we live in a world where people try to tell you, they try to tell you no, they try to say you're not good enough, you don't have this, you don't have that. And it's like, whatever, regardless of any situation, like you really can make all of your dreams come true. Um, and, and that was really the goal with this was just to channel that, that strong, feminine, powerful energy. And, and that's just why I called it the power within because it's like true power comes from within you. It's not because of something exterior. Mm -hmm. That's amazing and what a powerful message. I love all of the all of the symbolism in this image. I love that you use different props and that the background is visible and you can tell what it is that it's a graveyard and it's very clear what the symbolism is, but when you explain it, it adds so much more meaning to the picture. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite photos of yours because of the symbolism alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Well, moving on to the next one. So this image I call dream a little dream. And so it's kind of similar to the previous photo, but it's supposed to symbolize. So this girl who I photographed, she's, she's very young or she was very young when I took this picture. And I kind of wanted it to symbolize her innocence in a sense where she has all these dreams and she has all these goals, you know, because it's supposed to symbolize the part of me. Like I'm from, I'm from Maine, I'm from a smaller town. And that's why you hear that quote, like, like, I think it's like a uh, small city, big city dream, something like that. And the energy that I did for this was supposed to symbolize how she has all these dreams and she has all these goals. Like she's a really imaginative person and the stars are supposed to symbolize like all of her dreams falling around her. 
And it symbolizes again, that even if you have something and you think it's a dream, you can still make that a reality, even if it doesn't roll out the way that you anticipated or you necessarily wanted. Again, it's, it's supposed to mean that your dreams aren't something that are supposed to just live in your head forever. They're supposed to be inspiration. They're supposed to be motivation to make that type of vision come true for yourself. And you really can do that. And I, I also wanted to represent how I think a lot of people hate on dreamers, you know, they're like, Oh, they're just a dreamer. They're just whatever. But our dreams are really what like motivate us again. Like your dreams are supposed to be these magical visions that we get, like these foreshadows, you know, it's like, it's kind of like you have a little like foreshadow telling you what could be or what's going to be. And, you know, and you should hold on to them and you should romanticize them and, and dance with them because they really are something special to have. Like, it, it's really sad when I meet people who say they don't have any dreams, they don't have any goals, they're not creative. Like, I think everybody naturally has that inside of themselves, but they just don't, not everybody's connected to that part. And so, and that's what I was, again, trying to represent with this is like mm -hmm. all the little dreams you have, like hold on to them. And then again, like go with the flow with them and just make them come true in any way that you can. And so, and that's why I really liked this photo because even like the way she's posing, it's not entirely like uh, typical. It's not like a typical quote unquote pretty picture, but she just looks so like amazed. Like she's like, oh my God, like, wow, there's so much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, really like how long did it take to edit this? Um, I feel like it took me about an hour because like I really didn't do that many in-depth stuff other than, you know, adding all the little star details, but I did with like the background. I think there was more like she was in the woods and when I took this picture, and so what I did was I kind of like blended the background to make it all dark and even, and that's why it has like little green bits because those are trees and I blended some of the trees together because I really wanted the stars to be like the the key like the focal point here mm -hmm. um, and she's like more lit up because the sun was literally like beaming on her and I just thought again it was perfect because it again it symbolized like kind of like a spotlight you know when you have like the spotlight on you if someone's on stage and it's like oh my gosh <laughs> that's yeah, how yeah. I was viewing it yeah it's cool both thing is and what the do I mean you can never anticipate what kind of lighting you have on a game so it's cool that it worked in your favor and that you used it to create something like this yeah definitely I'm a big I'm a big person on, you know, using natural lighting and like, I'm really not a person that uses that many props and people always get amazed by that because it's like, they're like, what did you use to take this photo? I'm like, I use natural light and I used my camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it helps a lot with uh, natural light. It's my best friend when it comes to be an artificial light so much, but uh, natural light is probably, probably my number one. Yeah, no, definitely. This one I called Goddess and Her Flowers. And so this also holds a very, um, what's the word, sentimental meaning for me. Uh, I called it Goddess and Her Flowers because I wanted it to represent, primarily it represents friendship for me. So during this time in my life, when this photo was taken, I had, it was around the time I had just gotten out of my relationship, but also I had gotten out of other friendships, like other relationships that were really toxic. And during this picture, when it was taken, there was cherry blossoms and cherry blossoms around here, they only bloom when spring comes and they're there for a very short period of time. You have like a two, maybe three week window that they're there. And I thought it was even more special that we were able to capture this photo with those because I wanted to symbolize new beginnings, new relationships in my life. And because I had just gotten out of relationships that were not beneficial towards me at all, it was meant to symbolize that my future relationships, the relationships I have now, you know, not only am I going to have very important connections with people that are, that they mean something to me and I put so much energy into, but it's also very important that they put an equal amount of energy and participation in that relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, I am a person when I love, I love very deeply and I love very 
you know, immensely. And there's nothing, you know, more disheartening than putting your all into a person who doesn't value you or doesn't appreciate you is like abusing you in a way. And so that's really like the whole goal with this was to be, you know, the people who I have in my life, they're dear to me and, and I need to be dear to them, like an equal balance. And especially with this particular person, her and I, when we took this photo, it, it does represent that in our friendship. We have a very deep connection. And so both of us are able to look back on this and be like, oh, like it was the beginning of something new. It was the beginning of, you know, knowing my boundaries and, and not only like the developing of our friendship, but you know, for this person too, it was like, she realized so many connections she had in her life that weren't the greatest and that she needed to, you know, assert herself and, and say, you know, you're not good for me. I can't do this anymore, um, et cetera. <laughs> so it's just, again, yeah. it's supposed to symbolize new beginnings and prioritizing connections that are meaningful and, and genuine. <laughs> yeah. I like that there's a hopeful theme in all of your photographs it's friendship it's empowerment it's dreaming and embracing this I really yeah no exactly yeah that's what I try to to have all my stuff be it's funny one of my friends once said she's like even when your images are darker she's like it's the type of dark that there's a light at the end of the tunnel type of dark <laughs> and yeah exactly yeah, and I guess that's what I always try to represent because, you know, I've been through things in my life as has, you know, everybody, but even when my stuff is more gloomy, it still has that message to it where, you know, it's okay to feel whatever emotions you're feeling if they are darker, you know, sometimes life it takes a turn and sometimes just really sad, unfortunate things happen, whatever they are, but it's supposed to mean that, you know, allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling, go through the motions of it, but then eventually let it go. You know, it's important to, to really value the lessons you learn from every experience, but, you know, to also don't forget to, to not only move on, but to take those lessons that you learned and apply them to your life in a positive way. You know, like both of us have gone through very similar experiences. And because we've gone through that though, we are stronger in other ways. And had we not had those experiences, we wouldn't have known that strength that we have inside ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's really, again, the type of stuff I, I try to do with my work. Like it's not just about photographs for me, it's, it's about energy and it's about spreading messages and connecting with people. It's really the biggest thing for me. Um, Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah I appreciate that a lot I think it's um it's wonderful that you include your friends in your photographs it really shows when you're photographing a friend because it's one thing of course to photograph a model and that's super fun and I support them 100% especially for you know people who love experimenting with uh, portrait photography but when it's a friend it's a different feeling and if it's a friend who has a very deep connection to you you can really take some really incredible photographs with them so it's, uh, it's obvious why you like the photograph. It definitely has soul to it. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. I feel the same way. I had this conversation with a friend yesterday where we were talking about, like you said, it's one thing to just to take a photo of someone, of someone like a pretty face, but it's another to be able to create art with someone who you have a strong connection with outside of that, because then it's, it goes deeper because your relationship with that person isn't just, you know, photography wise it's because you have that bond with them and so when you create with them it's it's more fun and it's something you know that you're both able to look back on in the future and be like oh we did this together like look at this wonderful cool beautiful thing and and while you're creating with a person again it's just it's fun and it's another way of bonding with that person in a whole new way exactly yeah it's a great way to capture memories yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel the same. And it's kind of um, that ties into this next image that I chose, which doesn't seem very like elaborate. But so this is a photo I took with another really dear friend of mine named Gwen. And I called it synchronicity because her and I are very, very similar. Both of us have the same birthday and we have a lot of very similar quality traits. And when I took this photo, I wanted to symbolize, so like when you look at us from the outside, both her and I are different um, ethnicities. 
I am, I'm biracial, I'm African, and I'm also, my mother's white, she's, she's French, she's Swedish, she's Dutch, she's a lot of different things, so I'm a bit of a mutt, but my friend, um, you know, she's Caucasian, and I called it synchronicity because it symbolizes how even if two people look completely different on the outside, again, like what is inside of you is what, what really matters, and even if we don't look alike from the outside, we are both so similar, like we have that that deep connection, like our, like our souls are intertwined. And I thought that this image was just really a really beautiful representation of that because it's like the way that we're holding each other's hands, it's not in like your stereo, like your stereotypical way. It's not just like, Hey, I'm holding your hand. Mm -hmm. It's almost kind of like, we're both gracefully holding the other person's hand, but it almost looks like we're displaying it kind mm -hmm. of like we're we're very carefully holding it but we're holding it in a way where it's like look at how like beautiful this is mm -hmm. and it's also interesting because like with me you see my nails I'm really obsessed with my nails <laughs> and she's really obsessed with with jewelry and so those are both two different artistic forms of self-expression you know like they're both ways that we really um like to decorate our hands because your hands are such like powerful and magical tools like your hands is what creates all the the dreams and all the visions that we have right and so mm -hmm. it just symbolizes how like her and I create differently like I express more through my nails she expresses more through decorating her hands with beautiful jewelry um and she has like a little bit of tattoos and stuff but um, not trying to ramble, but it was just supposed to symbolize like a variety of things of like, we are synced spiritually, even if we have different forms of expression or we have different exteriors, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I love that very much. I love that you use photography, not just to capture your own emotions, but to emphasize the fact that despite our outer differences we, we don't have to be different people like as you said you have that soul connection which is so important and when you have mm -hmm. a soul connection how you look doesn't matter at all really mm -hmm. so I love that you were able to express that with a photograph of just hands That's mm -hmm. really yeah exactly and it just again it goes to show that we all have different ways that we express ourselves and go about things but even if we go about things differently it doesn't mean that um, like the energy behind it isn't the same. So, um, but yeah, that's why I chose this particular photo. Um, and, and yeah, those are five photos that really mean a lot to me. Like I, I need to get all these printed, my God. <laughs> you should, you're all wonderful. Each and every one of them is unique and has a wonderful story to tell. And thank you for sharing the behind the scenes. It was very interesting to find out about what calls me the photos in your world? It's uh, it's admirable and it's hopeful and it's uh, definitely very inspiring. And I hope the watchers are well. I will leave all the links to Dabby's work in the description. Check her out and definitely get inspired by her incredible way of portraying people and herself. It's uh, it's truly inspiring and I'm I'm definitely a big fan. I'm glad we're able to do this. So thank you. Yeah. No. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we will talk soon. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye.